All right, so there's a lot of crazy shit going on in Egypt right now, and so I just wanted to draw everybody's attention to what happened the last time a whole bunch of crazy shit happened in Egypt. So this is back in the 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 day, way after Joseph brought all of the Hebrews into Egypt, and they were all living there, and Joseph was chill because he was part of the ruling family. Joseph dies off. He gets old. Everybody who knew Joseph gets old and dies off. So what you're left with is a whole bunch of Jews who remember how they got there, and a whole bunch of Egyptians who have no idea what all these fucking Jews are doing here. And so they're like, holy shit, where'd all these Jews come from? Where are they? Uh, ah, there's so many Jews. Let's make them slaves. So they make them slaves. And they're like, that's not enough things that we have done to them. Let's also kill all of their male children. Hey, midwives, kill all of their male children at birth. And the midwives are like, eh, nah. And so then the Egyptians are like, all right, well, let's just tell them to throw all of their babies into the river. That'll work. So they tell them to throw all the babies into the river. And they, like, probably police it somehow. But that doesn't stop people from trying to pull wacky bullshit. So, for example, there's this one chick. She has a kid. Instead of throwing him in the river... She puts him in a basket in the river and leaves him there. Huh? So then he, he like goes down the river a little ways, and Pharaoh's daughter is out there, and she sees it, and she's like, Oh, look at the cute little baby. Can I keep it? And the baby's sister is also there for some reason, and she's like, Oh, shit, you found a baby. Congratulations. Would you like me to find you a Jewish mother for this baby? And Pharaoh's daughter is like, Well, my tits don't work, so Yes. So, the sister brings the baby to the baby's actual mother, who then breastfeeds it for a certain number of years, and gets paid by Pharaoh for doing so, thus pulling off the ultimate scam. But then, after a while, the baby's gotta go live with Pharaoh, because he's kind of Pharaoh's kid. And he does pretty alright. Oh, his name, by the way, is Moses. You may have heard of him. But, um, so anyway, Moses is, like, growing up in the Pharaoh's palace, and he's doing pretty well. Um, uh, until he sees this Egyptian dude beating up a Jewish dude, and he gets so mad that he beats the guy to death with a rock and tries to bury him in the sand. Now, there's sand all the fuck over every place, but apparently somebody finds the body, because they get really pissed off, and then Moses has to flee the city. So he flees the city, he goes out to this well somewhere, hooks up a bunch of chicks with water, they're so grateful, they take him back to their dad, the dad gives him one of the daughters, he bangs the daughter, he has a kid, and he basically hides out in his kingdom, waiting for Pharaoh to die on a statue of limitations to pass on murder. Meanwhile... God finally realizes that something bad has been happening to his people. I, I guess he's been off in the desert somewhere jerking it this whole time because he just hasn't noticed that the people that he swore solemnly to protect and to make fruitful and multiply and to lead to the land of milk and honey are getting laughingly fisted by the Egyptian empire over and over again for like the better part of a century. But eventually, he, he wises up to what's going on. He's like, oh shit, I should probably do something about this. What do I do? I know, I'll use that murderer who just fled Egypt. Hey! Moses, but he doesn't just say, hey Moses, because that's too straightforward for God. No, he sets some shrubbery on fire while Moses is out walking some sheep. And Moses is like, holy shit, flaming shrubbery! And God's like, no man, it's cool, it's just me, God. And Moses is like, that is even more upsetting! And God is like, chill out, chill out, chill out. Uh, you remember how all you people are getting laughingly fisted by the Egyptian empire? And Moses is like, do I? And God is like, how would you like to solve that problem on my behalf? And Moses is like, tell me more. And God is like, okay, so here's what I want you to do. You just gotta go back and ask Pharaoh to let everybody go. And Moses is like, he's not gonna let everybody go, is he? And God's like, fuck no. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't let everybody go. And then Moses is like, what? I thought you were on my side. And God's like, I am on your side, eventually. But in the meantime, I want to make Pharaoh refuse a bunch, of, a bunch of times so that I can punish him a bunch of times and then I'll be famous. I'm God. I'm really obsessed with being famous. I'm not, it's not famous enough that I'm God. And Moses is like, all right, dude, I'll take your word for it. But, um, so, so, so I'm supposed to go back to all these people and be like, yeah, I just, I was just talking to God. Everyone's just going to be like, bullshit. What, how do I prove to them that I actually talk to God? And God is like, all right, you're going to love this. Okay, take your staff, right? See your staff? Yeah, throw it at the God. Bam, not a staff anymore. Now it's a snake. Whoa, pick it up by the tail. Oh, not a snake anymore. Now it's a staff. Ha! And God, and M Moses is like, all right, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's just kind of a parlor trick, though. And God's like, all right, put your hand in your vest. Take it out. It's disease. Put it back in your vest. Take it out. It's not diseased anymore. Oh, my God. This is like, God is on some Chris Angel shit right now. And, and Moses is like, all right, well, that's pretty cool. What do I do if they ignore that? And God is like, you turn their water into blood. Moses is like, woo! And God is like, I know, right? I've been thinking about this shit for a while. I, I just have a whole file that's devoted to horrible things to do to people. That's what you do when you're God. And Moses is like, all right, all right. Sounds pretty good. Next thing that I'm kind of wondering about is what do I do um, about my speech impediment? And God's like, Psh. 
I invented speech impediments. I could take that shit away. And Moses is like, I don't know. This is a pretty bad speech impediment. God is like, fine, pussy. Get your brother Aaron. He'll, uh, uh, okay, here, here's what we'll do. I, I will talk to you and you will talk to Mo. To you. Okay, I'll talk to you. You talk to Aaron. Aaron will talk to the Egyptians and the Jews. And Moses is like, all right, yeah, sounds good to me. So he goes back to his father-in-law's place, and he bangs his wife some more, and he talks to his kid, and he packs everything up, and he meets up with Aaron. And he's like, Aaron, you get to be my mouthpiece for murder. And Aaron is like, sweet, let's do this. So they start journeying back to Egypt. And on the way, for some reason, God shows up and tries to kill Moses, presumably for not being circumcised. But Moses' his wife saves his life by chopping off their son, part of the son's dick and rubbing it on Moses, which is just really gross. But then God apparently... I don't know what the fuck God is thinking. I think God is just tripping balls most of the time, and he just doesn't really know. He just doesn't really connect his actions with consequences. So he's just he's just fucking around in the desert, and there's something about dick skin. Anyway, then they get to Egypt, and the rest is a story for another time. <laughs>